Hello and welcome. My name is Bob Bell. Today I'm going to show you a video on content management part one where I focus on creating a product inside of Webster Commerce. You can also follow me on my blog, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So what are you going to see in this demonstration? Well, I'm going to show you the Management Center, which is the business user tooling for Webster Commerce. I'm also going to show you the Starter Store, which is the Madison Store, where you can purchase your products. And lastly, the focus of this video is on creating a product from scratch using Management Center. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here and these are our shirts inside of the catalog and what we want to do is create a brand new product. And we're going to give it a code of that and we're just going to call it blue car T with a short description of blue car T. And you could pretty much add whatever you want in the short and long description and even give it some HTML like our new t-shirt. Give it some keywords and the manufacturer will be Madison's. Okay. Publishing, we're just going to have it automatically published so we're not going to fill any of that out for now. I do have the path to the image so we'll go ahead and paste that in there and these images would be uploaded to the server for pricing the list price we're going to say 9.99 and the offer price a minimum of one quantity will be 12.99 we also want the customer to be able to pick the size of the shirt so if I search for size, it'll find and add it. And you can see it's the boy shirt size. And if we look inside here, it is searchable. So it'll show up in the faceted navigation. And it's essentially three sizes, small, medium, and large, with the default selection being the medium. So we can go ahead and save that and close it. And if we scroll down, we should see our new shirt. Now, this is a product, and now what we need to do are, is add the SKUs for all of the different sizes. So we have a neat little utility here where we just come in and we can generate all of the SKUs based on the defined attributes attached to this product. And you can see we had one attribute of size and it generated three SKUs for this particular product. And we should be almost ready to go. Let's go ahead and save that. And let's go check it out on the storefront. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to search the site for our t-shirt actually we'll type in blue car t and you can see we have suggestion we'll click on it and there we go there's our new product $12.99 and you can also select the sizes now if you also go back here I should have pointed something out you'll notice that since we added this new attribute it shows up in the left side and you may want to just make that as size not boy shirt size and and make it a little more generic for um, you know all of the products but um, you can see it was pretty easy to publish a product onto the site and you can select the different uh, sizes and then add to cart all right that's pretty much it for this demo. Thank you for watching. 